Hey everybody, Steve here again in the Illinois Recording Studio. Hey, right, so I've got the other uh, incredible, incredible Gladstone drum that uh, is, uh, this drum is sold for my friend Chet Falzerano who owned this drum for many, many years. This drum is a 7x14 Gretsch Gladstone drum. This is a drum that Billy built himself in the right around probably very late 30s uh, into, the, into the 40s. And this particular drum is uh, Billy was famous for his three-way tuning. In this particular drum, it is a two-way tuning. The three-way tuning means that by the use of this little key, and I'm going to show it to you here. Now, I've done a video on this on my uh, YouTube channel, but on this little key, there was one little square that locks on to a nut here that tightens the bottom hoop. One that locks on to this hex that tightens the top. And then one that locks on to both together that tightens the bottom and the top in unison once you've got the right balance between the two heads. Now this particular one is different because it does not have the three-way tuning where the third part of it is moving the heads in uh, unison. So in that particular case, uh, it's a little bit different. The Gretsch Gladstone drums were offered with two-way tuning and three-way tuning. This one's a different drum because this one was actually a drum that Billy played. Uh, he assembled and, and built this drum, not Gretsch. The drum was uh, gold lacquer, as you can see here, with uh, gold-plated hardware, 7 by 14 size, the Billy Gladstone snare strainer and tone control, uh, which you'll see in pictures, the butt plate. This is a little vent hole, and actually, the way this is designed, and you can, this is something that carried over into the regular Gladstone drums as well, but this came off, and there was a little, little rod, a little hex rod, and that was designed to go in here and to adjust because often people would put individually adjustable cable snares on these drums. Now, this particular drum has wire, standard wire snares, so that's not needed. But that little tool was right there so you could adjust as you pulled each strand of the snare wires through. And, of course, the tool then ingeniously goes back in here. But if you notice, this also creates a little set of vent holes, which Billy basically hid behind the tool here, which is kind of an another ingenious thing. So... On this particular drum, this drum was played by Billy, and uh, he used it in the 40s. He then, uh, the, the drum was then sold to Joe Casca, who was part of the Goldman Band and also part of the Radio City Music Hall Orchestra in the percussion section. Uh, Joe then sold the drum to Ted Reed. Ted Reed was the person who was very, very famous for uh, collecting uh, Billy's drums. He has a book uh, that he did with, uh, on the cover of that book is... Billy's gold snare drum stand and Billy's 7x14 original Gladstone drum, not a Gretsch Gladstone drum. Uh, so uh, this particular drum, uh, Ted had the drum. When Ted got the drum, it was, uh, it was in need of replating. So Ted replated the gold, uh, as you see it here. Uh, Ted had the drum for a number of years, and then he sold it to Chet Falzerano. Chet Falzerano is, in my estimation, the uh, most uh, fantastic expert on Billy Gladstone. He's written two books on Billy. Well, one book on Billy and one book on Gretsch, which includes history of, of Billy. And he has owned many, many of the world's most famous Gladstones, one that belonged to Gene Krupa. He owns the one that belongs to Louis Belson, uh, Arthur Press's drum, which I brokered for him some time ago. And uh, he owns the most, uh, the rarest uh, Gladstone kit in the entire world, uh, the Saul Leslie Bimel Silver Sparkle Kit, which we are brokering for him now. However, get us back to this story. This drum then came to Chet. When Chet got it, the gold paint was in very, very bad shape. And paint on things like this, like even like on guitars and the like, it will develop either lacquer checking, but sometimes will flake off. So it had flaked off, so Chet had the drum uh, repainted. So what you see here is the drum. This drum is featured on, uh, in, in Chet's book. So you can see the drum there. It's definitely there, prominently displayed. It looks beautiful on this stand. Uh, I played this drum. I'm going to play this drum with uh, the drum set, the Saul Leslie Bimel uh, Gladstone drum set that we're brokering. But I wanted to also show it to you on the stand because it just looks so classy on the stand. This stand, the design of this stand, uh, it's it's beautiful and classic, and it's also wasn't uncommon back in these days. It was a beautiful wood stand, painted gold to match the drum in this case. And then the, uh, the metal 
part of the strainer, the, uh, of the stand itself that actually holds the drum, this little basket, if you want to call it that, uh, that was a uh, Wahlberg and Auger design, and uh, this was plated uh, for Chet by Arnie Lang, who uh, recently deceased, good friend of ours, and also the, the, uh, the other source of all information Gladstone related. Those are the two people that I have gone to throughout my career for information on Billy. Uh, I have, they are the information portals, and I have been fortunate enough to sell a number of these drums and uh, thrilled with them all. They play fantastically. This one is now set up with a Diplomat batter, plastic bottom head, and regular wire snares, so it's designed more for traditional playing, as you see behind the kit. Uh, Billy's drums, the uh, original Gladstone snares, uh, were especially prized by orchestral players because of their purity of their sound, and they would generally be set up with either cable watt snares or uh, gut or a combination thereof, and they're just very, very pure, pure sounding drums. So, uh, I'm just going to play a little bit on it here for you, uh, just to give you a sense of it, but this is truly a piece of history, and uh, it's the kind of thing, we wanted to record this video to make sure that it's there for all time. So people can ever, if anybody wants to look back and see information about a Billy Gladstone snare drum, our YouTube video will always be there no matter, you know, where the drum itself is. And you can always see it and refer to it and get a little brief history lesson. So, anyway, here we go.
There you go. Just a little idea of the breadth of the sound and how you can control it with the tone control as well. Just a marvelous instrument, fun to play, and just a huge wide tuning range. Beautiful, beautiful instrument. Billy Gladstone, 7x14, Gretsch Gladstone snare drum, two-way tuning, gold-plated hardware, gold lacquer shell, beautiful matching stand. Just uh, take a look at that, and that's a sight to behold. It's a beautiful item. Thanks, everybody.